What's up guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I have the uh, Kershaw 1660 Ken Onion Leak, and I have two models here. This knife has a three inch blade, and has, I have two models here. One has a stainless steel handle, and the, uh, with a frame lock. The black handle here, it's just got like some kind of, you know, uh, I'm not even sure what type of material this is, but like plastic type material with a liner lock. And both of these you can find for about 40 bucks on Amazon. And we're just going to kind of quickly talk about the features of it. The blade steel is a 14C28N steel or Sandvik steel. And this is a steel that was developed primarily to be used as a knife steel. It has a bead blasted stainless steel uh, blade finish you know to try to like hide those wear and tear to the blade when you're using it the website says it has a modified um, drop point design I think this is more of a worn cliff design with this you know straighter edge here but it has the speed safe feature that you can deploy at the back and it's very fast you can uh, you know deploy it from both sides and it has ambidextrous thumb studs and uh, it has a very deep pocket clip considering lanyard hole the other cool thing about this knife is that so it doesn't deploy because as a speed safe doesn't deploy in your pocket you can lock that blade down right there so now it won't come open now the stainless steel all stainless steel versions about 3.1 ounces whereas the black handled version is a little lighter it comes in at 2.4 ounces now being that this is a smaller knife i do find that this liner lock on this one is a little you know harder to maneuver than the frame lock on this one but that's just you know i guess could be just depending on your hand size but it has a uh, you know for the puck clip you can go tip up or tip down and just pretty much only for right hand users I guess because it won't go to the left hand side but the close length of the knife is uh, 4 inches with an overall length of 7 inches and this is actually the handle is a 410 with a DLC coating so pretty durable coating there but you know this knife is a good knife i like it you know for an edc function um would i carry this knife probably not for most occasions this is primarily just a box cutter you know it does have a good pointy end so you can really get in there and, and you know do some fine cutting tasks if need be but you know for most things i'm going to carry a, a more heavier duty knife but you know some situations where it's not really necessary or i don't really can't get away with carrying a large knife i i I carry one of these you know I do like this version over this version but you know the knife's very sharp out the box you know and in the way it's designed it's gonna you know hold an edge for a while and be corrosion resistant but you know small knife EDC you know you're not gonna be prying up in ammo crates or uh, stuff like that with it but it's just a good little EDC knife and I, I do like the design of it. I do, you know, like it for this, uh, the Warncliffe design for what it's going to be used for, you know, doing daily cutting tasks. But this knife, again, like I said, goes for about 40 bucks in, in uh, most places. So pretty reasonable for what you're going to get. You know, if you're living in those states that you can't have a large folder or you just want to carry a smaller folder because you don't want it to weigh it down, this is definitely one of those knives I would suggest. But Check this out. Check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more tips and tutorials and gear reviews. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like our Facebook page. And as always, thanks for watching.